Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly reading for March 16th to 23rd. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. If you're new, I hope you hit the subscribe button and you become a part of our community. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great Queen the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Okay, if you want a private reading, take a look at the description box below to see how you can book with me. Two of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Emperor, Justice, High Priestess, Queen of Pentacles, Libra. I really love that you're showing up in the middle of your reading. Uh, to me, that's very powerful. It tells me, one, that you're in your power. Two, that you're in control of this situation. Three, that regardless of the big shifts that are that you're going to be experiencing, um, potentially around your career, your home life, your finances, your finances, your uh, intuition, your emotions, whether or not you're moving forward or not, um, in either like moving homes, moving careers, moving jobs, moving any type of movement forward. Um, you're willing to make the hard decision. The Two of Swords tells me that there is some choice, a decision that you're going to have to make. And, um, and it might feel a little bit icky and uncomfortable. Maybe like you don't want to face the truth, but you have to and you know that. And so as you progress over to the Page of Wands, what I am picking up on very clearly here is that this message will come through for you that will kind of ignite you, that will kind of turn around and tell you're going to be thinking like, yeah, you know what? I need to do this. It's time. I need to do this. It's no, I, I can't be afraid anymore. I can't be in denial anymore. I can't be like un unknowing anymore with the emperor what i will turn around and say to you is that it's really important for you to have discipline routine structure and to rule with an iron fist when it comes to your home like do not allow anybody else to tell you how to run your ship nobody if you are here from toronto and you know um mel who used to own like the furniture store it was like nobody i don't know why i said that hopefully one of you are like a few of you read could uh, resonate with that reference um but yeah um nobody yes do you want to come up nobody can tell you what to do in regards to your career and your finances because that justice card is here and when that justice card is here it's telling me very clearly and i just had a download in my ear that this is about you taking back control of your power Okay, with the Queen of Pentacles, it's really important for you to focus on being nurturing, taking care of your home, taking care of your children if you have any, taking care of the things that matter to you. Okay, this is somebody who's very loving, very balanced. Okay, and with the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups, emotions might run high, your intuition might be making you feel all sorts of feels. Okay, but what's more important above all this is that you stay um, very clear in the direction that you're going to take that you um in the stillness in the quietness of your intuition you trust the journey in knowing that maybe it does get a little bit emotional maybe it does get a little bit uncomfortable but your psychic intuition your gut instinct will always tell you the truth in every situation There's a lot of major arcana here happening for you this week, and so that's really confirming to me that there might be a lot of um, shifts, changes happening. Cancer, uh, the home. Yes, something to do with the home here. Potentially wanting to buy a new home, maybe legal documents, maybe paperwork, maybe like moving in with somebody. You got the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you got the Queen of Cups too and the Four of Wands. Um, in your love life, here's what I'm going to turn around and tell you. Um, there's movement forward here. You might have started something that um, was very slow to begin with somebody. Or maybe somebody who wanted something with you but like they took their sweet ass time. This energy just feels like it's very stagnant and slow. They gave you an offer but it was like bare minimum breadcrumbing. Um, and you got to remember you're showing up as the Queen of Cups twice. That's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, intuitive, psychic, beautiful, okay? And so if this person is not giving you the stability, the commitment, um, what you are looking for, the structure in your home life, if they're not balanced, emotionally deep-rooted, um, and nurturing, then you need to tell them to fuck off. They don't belong in your life, okay? 
On the other hand here, I do see that for some of you, you may have started something very slow with somebody, and now it's actually progressing towards the next stage with that Four of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, or Queen of Cups. Look at this energy. Um, it's almost like you're both understanding now the type of commitment that you wanted. Maybe it took a minute to get clear on the direction which you were going to go in. Um, but the important thing here is not to sit in the denial. Because you got denial card here. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So you got to trust very clearly here that, um, that you know what you're doing and that nobody else knows how to manage your life, your home, your family, your kids other than you. And that if you want to make a move forward, Libra, do it. That you are entitled and have every right to design, create, um, and live the life that you've always wanted. All right? All right, Libra, that is your weekly reading. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested in either a live or pre-recorded service or to shop at Starseed Jewels, your modern day amulets, go take a look at the description box below. I'm wearing Mal Ojo to help protect against bad vibes um, and Venus, which is all about uh, attracting love and self-love as well. And there's a bunch of other pieces regardless of whether or not you're masculine or feminine. Thank you so much for all your support, your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Most importantly, thank you for being you and being a part of our high vibe community we'll see you later alligator peace out bye